it's Matthew's lift time. Today is a very exciting day because we finally get to talk about the Matthews lift. This bow is awesome. This is the new flagship bow from Matthews for 2024. And I brought my computer with me today, which is new, because I don't want to miss any of these specs. And there are a lot of them. And there are some really cool things about this bow that we are going to dive into. So if you haven't watched already, I did a bow build video where it was literally the day that I got this bow. Now, I've been fortunate to have been hunting with this bow for a while. I've put a lot of arrows downrange, and I wanted to give you guys some feedback on what I thought about this bow. So go through the specs and then really give a true, honest review after putting lots of critters down and lots of time behind this bow, as opposed to... What most videos you're going to see right now are people that are just opening the box that are getting them at their dealerships or whatever. And not to discredit them or whatever. Like I'm very fortunate to get this bow early. I absolutely love nothing more than getting bows and playing with them. And I just wanted to provide my feedback, my thoughts, and my feelings for this bow. Obviously, they're feelings. It's subjective, right? Everybody has different opinions. Some bare specs. We got a 29 and a half inch ATA and a 33 inch ATA bow here. This is the 29 and a half inch. I have a 30 inch draw length. That's what this bow is set at. My hunting arrow for this is 505 grains. So the 29 and a half inch bow has a 348 foot per second IBO. It is absolutely screaming fast. We have a new cam system for this year from Matthews, which we'll get into later. Uh, really pretty cool stuff. But overall, 300 and almost 50, 348 feet per second out of this new cam system. Amazing. The 33-inch ATA has a 343 foot per second IBO. Still pretty awesome. First thing you're going to notice when you grab this bow is how lightweight it is. This bow is coming in at sub four pounds for the 29 and a half inch. So if you want to just save yourself watching me ramble and talk about this bow, the lift compared to the phase four, this bow fully decked out. Like, and, and I have my phase four set up pretty much the exact same as this, same bars, um, slightly different bow sight, um, but pretty much the exact same thing. My phase four is coming in a half a pound heavier than this lift and then also spoiler alert same arrow this bow is 10 feet per second faster than the phase four which is pretty impressive so half pound lighter but you know normally when you get a lighter bow you're sacrificing something there's vibration there uh it doesn't feel as well something along those lines not the case with this bow when i'm shooting this bow um it is just dead solid dead in hand no vibration no BS. So very impressed to have that speed without sacrificing draw cycle or draw, sacrificing anything in the draw cycle as far as back wall or whatever. And then also to have the, uh, the half a pound reduction. And obviously I don't care about how much weight I'm carrying to the stand, but it is surprisingly noticeable. And to have that weight reduction and not sacrifice the feeling of the bow at the shot very impressive. So good job, Matthews. We have a six inch brace height on the 29 and a half inch bow, uh, 55, 60, 65, 70 pound draw weights, actually 75 or 80 as well. Uh, yeah, it comes in pretty much everything. It's, it's the new cam system still uses the switch weight technology. So that's awesome. It's just an upgraded version of that cross center cam, which is Really impressive if you think about it, because the cross center cam system has been so good. Matthews has not been able to replace it for a long time. Like we're going back to the original Halon. So literally for as long as I've been shooting a Matthews, they've been cross center cam bows, which is really pretty impressive. So that's like the last seven years, eight years, I think. Uh, just going off memory. I'm sure I'm wrong. Fix me in the comments, whatever. But yes. Pretty impressed uh, that this new cam system has has toppled the OG cross center cam, and um, it, it is that good. It's easy to see how it was able to do that. There are some new color waves this year, which are pretty cool on this bow. So there are three new colors, which are called fade to black. Super cool if any of you guys follow any supercars or anything like that, where you get a color that fades into a different color. 
so you have green, granite, and earth colors where they literally will fade to black across the bow. Pretty sweet. Obviously, mine's in Spectre, which is even sweeter. Uh, there we go. All right, so let's get into this SWX cam system. And if you watched my bow build video, I actually read it upside down. I think I called it the XMS cam. Um, but no, it's the SWX cam. This cam is very, very surprising. It is still incredibly smooth. Uh, it's the same draw cycle that you expect from a Matthews. The back wall on this sucker is rock solid. I cannot iterate enough how strong and how solid the back wall is. It is really, really, really good, really impressive. Part of what's working in tandem to make this cam so good is you'll notice that the axle is actually on top of the limb, not running through it, which is really pretty cool how they've put this, put this together with the axle and the limb tip to where it allows a very pass parallel swept back limb at rest and the axle sitting on top of that limb not only does it create a more stable shooting platform it also helps reduce weight and get those limbs to an area where it reduces even more vibration so it's really kind of the backbone obviously for the whole system there for allowing an incredible shooting experience very stable very dead in hand no vibration it's really, really impressive what they've done. And I think part of that's also this whole new riser design where they've continued to be able to find areas to machine out and skeletonize the whole thing without sacrificing any stability of it. So compared with those limb pockets, the limbs, and this riser design, you just have this bow that is so solid. Uh, but still, you're not sacrificing any of the bridge lock compatibility that we love or any of the features that you know that you want out of the bow. It is just stable, smooth, no vibration, and zippy fast. Now, part of having that axle up on top has allowed for this whole new limb design, which is just continuing to reduce vibration, reduce weight, and increase stability, which are really kind of the three things that you're going to hear over and over in this review because the bow really is that light, it's that fast, it's that smooth, the back wall I cannot speak enough about and just dead in hand. Another new feature that you notice this year is the new Ultra Rest MX2. Now this rest has been redesigned uh, between QAD and Matthews and it's been designed to have a more robust launcher arm on it. On that machine launcher arm, you also have some rubber pieces that are molded into it, so you don't need that felt anymore. You still have a little bit of felt down where the arrow is. Obviously you want that there. Uh, rubber wouldn't work there, but the Launcher arm side pieces are have some rubber on them, so you don't need that felt anymore, which is really pretty cool. But more importantly, this has been designed to fit this integrate rest location to provide for maximum attachment and also the most precise tunability. I believe it has 19 thousandths of an inch adjustability per click, which was really noticeable when I was doing some broadhead tuning at like 30, 40 yards uh, when I first got this bow tuned up and really was impressed with how easy it was to get it dialed in with those little micro adjustments. So uh, great job on, on the new rest as well. Very cool. This bow also is coming with the new match bowstrings from Matthews. So this is the new custom bowstring from Matthews, uh, which is really just designed to be like the premier string. So you shouldn't have to swap strings anymore. This new match bowstring system is designed to have you know no, no creep, no stretch, uh, no peep twisting, turning, yuckiness, um, and they're all built by hand in Matthews with a custom blend of 452X uh, and some other fibers that they're using. So, I mean, I've got a lot of shots downrange on this. I have not seen any stretch. I don't know if that's a good litmus test or not because uh, it's only had the crap beaten out of it for like six weeks, but overall, they're holding up great. They look great, so we'll continue to test those and see how they work but pretty cool to have some higher end strings coming on the bow stock from matthews and last but not least inside the grip here you'll notice something very cool that's called shot sense so shot sense will allow you to track all this data from your bow on the matthews shot sense app which is coming out i believe it's coming out in december um, so it's literally a little module that you put in your grip and it tracks everything um, 
really pretty cool to be able to see what your bow is doing during the draw cycle, see how you're moving, and really kind of fine tune your shot process. Really excited to get that shot sense. I'm sure we'll be doing some videos on that and testing some data and, and get some feedback from our actual shot process, vibration, kind of help tune your bow. Overall, the lift is here. This bow is amazing. The draw cycle, I can't speak enough about. I know I've harped on that. You're probably tired of hearing it. The draw cycle is that good. It's smooth. There's It, it feels way lighter than it is. I still can't believe this is shooting a 505 grain arrow at 290 feet per second, uh, which is 10 feet faster than my phase four. That combined with how light the bow is, how fast it is, how dead in hand, how quiet it is. These new limbs are incredibly quiet. It's just a really, really solid hunting package. This bow for me was noticeably better in the tree when I was on some hunts recently. It's hard to say how important that is, right? Like I'm fortunate that I get to shoot a lot of bows and take a lot of them to the tree with me. This thing stands out above the rest. It's lighter, it's easier to move around. The draw cycle is really, really good for if you get twisted up like a pretzel in some weird hunting scenario. And the power that it is putting into an arrow is really, really impressive. My pin gaps have shrunk, and a lot of the, air, the animals that I've been fortunate to harvest with this bow, I'm seeing significantly less string jumping. Like, look, this could be complete placebo effect. It could just be because that um, the sample size is small, but I really feel that this bow is significantly quieter than anything else I've shot in a long time. To say that this bow is quieter than the Phase 4 is a really, really big feat, because the Phase 4 is basically whisper silent. This thing takes it to a whole new level. The new limbs, the lack of vibration, and the speed that you're getting for Whisper Quiet is very impressive. And that arrow is coming out just smoking. So head to your local Matthews dealer. They're on the shelves now. Check them out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Go shoot this thing. I promise you it is worth it. It is really, really, really good.